Right, hello there ladies and gents, welcome to another repair video. Today we're going to be working on this Xbox One S which has been sent in. And this particular console has a rather unique problem. And the reason I say it's unique is because there's really not a lot of information to be found online regarding this specific issue. And it's one that I've come across myself a few times and it's usually down to one thing and one thing only. So this particular console i need to cover up some of the ticket but this particular console as you can see here says that it turns on then turns off after 30 seconds so what's going on with the autofocus there uh so it says turns on and then turns off after 30 seconds and like i said this is a rather unique issue because there's not really a lot of information online and i think i know what it is well, I think I know why it's doing it. And like I said, I've come across this a couple of times. But first of all, let me show you what's actually happening. So, I've got my capture card set up on the screen. And I'm going to plug a HDMI lead and the power lead in. And I'm going to turn it on. So the console comes on. And I'm going to show you that the power lead is going to stay in as well if I can. And as you can see, we have a black screen. We have absolutely nothing on the screen. So the first thing you would suspect is that it's just got a black screen of death or no display. But that's not the case. Or rather, it might be the case. Um, you could consider this a black screen of death, but this is also technically a no power issue or a power failure issue. So it's still on. So you would think it's trying to boot up normally. There's no weird sounds coming from the console. It feels cool to the touch. Seems like it's blowing cold air out, so it's not getting hot at all. And there you go. So you heard that beep there. That turned itself off. I didn't touch it. The power lead is still in. But after 30 seconds, it's turned itself off. Now, we've got absolutely no display. So let's look at the symptoms. So it turns on. And it stays on. So obviously, the console is working in terms of power delivery. The console turns on. It stays on. We get absolutely no noises from the console. We don't feel any hot air blowing out the back, so it's not overheating, but we get nothing on the screen. Now, the only real reasons for nothing on the screen are a broken HDMI port. The port is fine. A damaged HDMI encoder IC. Now, obviously, we can't test that because we haven't been inside the console. Uh, or a faulty hard drive. Now, the last one, the faulty hard drive... If the hard drive is faulty, as in you get a click of death, but it's it's actually working, spinning up, and or rather it's spinning up to a point and it's trying to load, or if you get the click of death, you might get a black screen of death, or you might get a green screen of death, or you might just get an error code. So something like E100, E102, E106, um, you know, you can get various different error codes for a faulty hard drive. However, if the hard drive has a power delivery issue, it will kick the console out. It will turn the console off. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open this up. And I'm basically going to take out the hard drive. So all I'm going to unscrew is the hard drive. And that is it. So I'm going, to, I'm going to remove the bottom case, obviously. I'm going, to, I'm going to take it out of the plastics. But then I'm going to take out the hard drive. And I'm going to plug the hard drive into my PC. And I'm going to hook it up to Crystal Disk Info. So we can read the information. And like I said, there's no information online regarding this specific issue. The only, the only information I've ever found online is real stupid information. And I mean real stupid information. So the only information online is someone saying, put a hairdryer on it for 30 seconds. No. 
No, 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 no. Do not put a hairdryer on your console. Ever. That is the only information I found online. I'll try and leave a link in the description if I can find it again. Uh, but last time I looked to see if this information was available, um, it basically said, I basically found a post, I think it was on the Microsoft forums, saying to take a hairdryer to it. And that is something you do not want to do. And there is a reason for that. You take a hairdryer to it, you are putting incredibly hot temperatures directly onto your CPU. Uh, because it actually says, put it by the fan. So you're putting incredibly hot temperatures, temperatures that the console is not designed to handle, in a sporadic, uh, a sporadic flow. And what I mean by that is, it's not consistent heat. So let's say, for example, I hook this up to my rework machine, my actually IR Pro. That's infrared heat. It's a consistent heat output, and it's a controlled heat heat output. But if I put a hairdryer on it, that's that's hot air. It's not um, it, it it it's not controlled heat at all, and you do not want to be doing that at all. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter how skilled you are. If you use a hairdryer on your console, you will probably kill it. And it looks like someone's already messed in this, so it looks like I don't even need to clean it, which is a bonus. This is going to be a nice, easy repair, and everyone is going to be happy. Okay, so... Let's take out the hard drive. I really should charge the batteries in this. There we go. Hard drive is removed, so let's pop the caddy to one side then. And if we take a look at the hard drive, it is a 500 gigabyte Seagate. And the serial number is WBY22WAC. So let's hook this up to the computer and we will see what happens, shall we? I'm going to take this hard drive here. Remember that serial number? Let's move my electric drill out of the way. Uh, let's see what we have. Uh, it's not that one. Right, so let's see if we can find a serial number that ends in WAC. So, it's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. The serial number's here, by the way. It's not that one. 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 And it's not that one. So you'll notice that we do not get a hard drive loading up. So the hard drive has actually, has actually spun up. I can hear the hard drive spinning. And as you can see, those hard drives have not changed one bit. Let's load up the Microsoft GUI. And let's try and see a 500 gig hard drive. One that's not in a RAID array. So all the ones in purple are RAID. So we've got new volume, one terabyte. We've got 232 gigabyte, that's an M.2 drive. And then we've got 232 gigabyte M.2 drive. No hard drive showing up whatsoever for this particular hard drive. Now if we unplug it, so let me see if I can get this on camera. So let's 
So you'll, you'll see that this is going to be hooked up to the computer. See flash and beep as well. So plug it back in. So it is the hard drive. So now let's plug in this hard drive. And you can see that we do get something load up. So if we go back to Crystal Disk Info and now rescan. You will notice now that there's going to be one extra hard drive. So the serial number for this ends in K9R. So let's see if I can get that on screen. If it'll focus. So ends in where is it? Um, there it is. K9R, just there. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in. As you can see, it's flashing again. There we go. And I'm going to press F6 on the PC. Protecting disk. So K9R. Just to show you that the caddy is working. And let's look for K9R on these serial numbers now. Not that one. 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 Not that, not that, not that. Hello, what do we see here? Okay, no, no. So we can clearly see my caddy is working. So we have an issue with the hard drive. So all we're going to do to fix this issue is we are going to change the hard drive. So I'm going to grab a 500 gig hard drive and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put it in the console I'm going to format it in the computer first put it in the console copy the operating system over to a USB flash drive which I'll do while I'm going to get a hard drive and then we will get this console fixed Okay, so the only hard drives that I have available right now are a one terabyte, so I don't have a 500 gig available to use right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, hard, a, 500, a one terabyte hard drive in for now, and then I'll contact the company who sent this tomorrow, and if they're okay with leaving a one terabyte hard drive in, then I'll leave it in. And if not, then I'll send it back and they can put a hard drive in and uh, I'll just charge for the time that I've spent on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug the hard drive into my caddy. And then I'm going to plug my caddy back into the computer. I've just unplugged it because I needed to plug in the USB, which is going to have the software on it. So I'll plug the caddy back in now. And... Just going to go back onto my desktop a second and I'm going to copy over this directory. I'm going to open up an elevated command prompt, so open up command prompt as Windows or, or as admin and change the directory to there. Whoops, there we go, and then I'm going to run the Xbox hard drive master software and we're going to choose option A 
and then we're going to go for disk 11 because that's the right number or at least I think it is <laughs> I hope so yeah it is uh, press Y and we're going to choose B for a one terabyte and now this is going to create the partitions required by the Xbox One and then by the time this is done and by the time we've reassembled enough to get this running then we can basically just uh, take the USB out because it'll be done ok so almost done here with this one so the reason I wanted to make this video is because like I said there, in, there are no videos from what I've found regarding this issue uh, from what I, from what I can see, and now I could be wrong, but obviously this is information that I've determined off of my own back. It's not information that's been found online. Uh, this is just going off past experience. And like I said, I did not open this console at all prior to making this video. I did not know exactly what was wrong with it. I'm just literally going off experience and. Some Sometimes it's nice to have that kind of information, even when other people don't. But then at the same time, it's nice to also share that information, because if I'm the only one that's put that information out there, then that means I'm directly helping people. Whereas if I'm just putting the same old content out over and over again, you know, it's just more for entertainment purposes. But this is purely for an informational video, not for entertainment um, so I'm really hoping that this is going to help you with your problem. And for some reason, that's not copying over. Let's try again because I did disconnect a hard drive. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so we may as well put this back together fully because I'm... 99% sure that this is going to fix the issue and this is going to be one of those really quick how to fix it videos I do like to do these sometimes where there's just literally no brain power involved at all uh, let's get the top back so like I said I'm just going to put this back together because I'm fairly confident that the issue is now resolved. And that is now reassembled. So let's pop on the hard drive, the bottom base, the bottom cover. There we go. And let's turn it on. So let's get the power cable then. Pop that in and the HDMI lead, same one as before. The software is now installed, so that's the old proof, or rather, the software is now copied over to the USB. And I'm going to pop that in the back. There we go, just like that. So let's switch back over to the capture card now. There we go. And there we go. Preparing console. So someone's pressed the reset button on this. That will throw out an error in a minute. That's fine. There we go, there's the ever E102, as I expected. So let's synchronise the controller then. So I'm going to press the button on the front. I should pick up in a second. 
There we go. Excellent. Right, so let's go to troubleshoot then. And offline system update. This is the latest oh, this is the latest operating system. So it should work. And downloading. So I'm gonna leave this to run and uh, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, it's okay then, ladies and gents. So I've just come back, and this, for some reason, did not install. It got to fifty-eight percent and failed. So, because it got to the last bit before it failed, it didn't get to seventy-two percent. I don't think there's an issue with the disk drive. So some other weird thing going on here and to be honest I'm not sure what so this is the latest version of the operating system so let's try it again shall we Right, okay, so just coming up to the part where it failed last time. So what I'm going to do, if it fails again, I'm going to take the hard drive out of my own console and put that in there. So this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, so if it fails again, I'll put this in there and reinstall it with this hard drive and I'll just give this to a customer. Uh, I don't mind. I'll just put another hard drive in mine. To be honest, I don't really play mine anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put this in if I need to. But... Um, Obviously, hopefully, it just works with this one terabyte. Don't know why it failed. I'm not sure why it failed, but obviously, you can see the console is staying on. So uh, the issue was definitely with the hard drive. So fifty-eight percent, and E one hundred this time. Hmm. So it was E one hundred two last time, I think. Uh, right, let's try that. I uh, don't know what's going on now, to be honest. Now this is a part where I've got, probably got to start using my brain. Uh, it's probably something to do with the hard drive configuration. Right, let's just see if that works. Yes, no, no. Okay. So, let's take it apart again. And I'm going to swap the hard drive over. And I'm going to put my own hard drive in there because I know that works. Uh, 
Right, so let's just um, let's just do it like this now. This time, there's that half fan spin. Turn it on. And let's go to troubleshoot. Let's try and just reset and remove. And if not, then you know it's ten past two. I'll just work on it in the morning. Uh, if it doesn't accept an update, uh, right? So it's not accepted it that way. So let's try and do it through OSU. Okay, so as you can see there, that is fully reassembled. The uh, reason I'm reassembling it is because if you don't accept an update through OSU now, I will set OSU to download and just leave it till morning or till later on. Uh, it's quarter past two now. Um, and the only reason that this has taken so long is because it's failed the update twice. Now, we know for a fact that the hard drive is working because it copied the update from the USB. So something strange is going on in the neighborhood. And uh, yeah, it's too late to figure it out. So uh, I only jumped on this video because I wanted to basically one, prove my own theory and two, try and get a quick video out there so that people could actually, you know, figure this out. Uh, because when people are set, telling people to put hair dryers to the machines, that's when things go wrong. So, obviously, if I can get the correct information out there, or at least the most common solution based off my experience, then it will stop people destroying the machines because of some poor advice from an idiot, basically. I'm sorry to say, but the person who put that advice is an idiot. Okay, so that's rebooting now. Fingers crossed it gets past this stage now. We'll see. So this hard drive was working in my console. So, you know, I'm on uh, gigabit internet, so I don't really care about having to re-download files. You know, like Call of Duty and things like that. All right, we're going to get to 62. Oh, we're going to get past 62. Yes, okay, so some sort of a configuration issue with the hard drive then by the looks of it. And uh, I guess I'm putting a one terabyte in my own console. Uh, but never mind. I don't really care, like I said, I don't really use it. Most of my stuff is on SSD, so, you know, an external SSD. So I don't really have to download much. That said, I haven't even turned it on for about three weeks, so, eh. Definitely got updates to do. Okay, so this is definitely going past now. We're going to get past seventy-two percent because that's where it checks the disk drive. Hopefully, we get past seventy-two percent. I do have a couple of disk drive issue consoles in queue, ready to do. So I'll probably be making videos on those. Come on. Check the disk drive, it's there. Come on. The disk drive is there. I can see it. Come on. Come on, I wanna go to sleep. Alright then reboot. Fine. <laughs> I think it always reboots at 72% to be honest. There we go. Thank you. Told you the disk drive was there. Okay. Brilliant. So this is a... 
pretty easy fix. I will say so. This is a pretty easy fix. But if you are reading stuff online, trying to figure out this issue, please don't put a hairdryer onto your console. Just don't. I'd rather pee on it, to be honest. It's probably going to do less damage. Um, we're pretty much there. Okay, and that is that. So, that is yet another console fix. I'm not going to run through the setup. I'll leave that for the customer. Uh, oh, dear. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I think it should come back on. Uh, if not, I might have to run through the setup, but I'll do that off camera. Um, obviously, the rest of the console is probably going to work. Uh, right, so I'm going to wrap up this video. So... This particular console was sent in. Oh, damn it. Yeah, it's gone back to 74%. Okay, it's working. It's fine. Uh, right, so this particular console was sent in because it was turning on and then turning off after 30 seconds, as we saw on the ticket, and as we verified ourselves. Now, like I said, there's a lack of information online available for this particular issue. From what I've found anyway, I haven't done that much research, but from what I've found, there's a lack of information available online. And unfortunately, you know, um, there's a lot of misinformation as well. And whatever you do, please do not put a hairdryer to your console because you will probably kill the machine. Uh, that is not going to solve a turn on and turn off issue. A turn on and turn off issue is a, basically, it's either power related or it's peripheral related so what i mean by peripheral is things like the hard drive the disk drive uh, anything that draws power uh, so obviously in this case where it turns on we don't get anything on display and then it turns off after 30 seconds that is usually down to the hard drive and the only reason i've worked that out is from past experience uh, so i thought i'd share that information with you guys uh, so that's going to be for this video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this video will help you to diagnose your particular console. If you are having this issue and this issue did fix your console or this solution did fix your console, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you want to see more repair videos where I fix mainly consoles but sometimes other things too, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so that you're notified every time that I upload. At the time of recording this, we are on... 4,822 subscribers and I'm trying really really hard to get to 5,000 so if you could subscribe that would really really help out the channel a lot but that's going to be it for this video thanks very much for watching and until next time see you later bye for now